if you miss, yeah, if, if you miss when your area of operation is known for its violent past, it doesn't hurt to have close air support, or CAS, before leaving the wire. Soldiers patrolling Korengal Valley know they have that support thanks to the JTACs attached to their company. Basically, we go out on every foot patrol uh, with this company here. We're assigned to the company here in the Cornwall Valley, and we first go on every patrol. Having the two-man team along for patrols means the ground commander has a liaison communicating their intent with the pilots watching over the troops from the skies. Just provide overwatch, just have aircraft presence in the area as a big, big boost to uh, soldiers on the ground, just to know that the aircraft is there. But the aircraft isn't there for moral support, and as the name implies, the JTACs are there to control the fight. Sometimes, uh, sometimes the guys on the ground can't defend themselves in a sense. Uh, right, mortars and artillery, they can sometimes get the job done, but if they can't, then they rely on CAS. JTACs give pilots a better understanding of what's happening on the ground and give ground commanders a voice in the pilot's ears, a role meant to keep the attack on its intended target and nowhere else. If there's buildings, civilians, anything like that, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be able to strike, nor, nor will the aircraft allow me. And uh, that's my job as a JTAC, is to advise the ground commander. Making sure soldiers on the ground have the support they need is one of the ground commander's responsibilities. And they'll tell you that having a JTAC on the mission is part of providing that support. Air Force Staff Sergeant Kevin Kite, Korengal Valley, Afghanistan.